Hi everybody, welcome back to Day of the Tentacle Remastered. We return uh, and we're still pretty stuck. We have a whole bunch of stuff here, but none of it um, rings any bells in terms of getting our grubby hands on to that crowbar, which we really need. Uh, we need to somehow convince uh, Dr. Fred here to sign this contract, but he doesn't have time to read. Uh, for whatever reason, and I don't think that we can make him fall asleep again with the decaf. Decaf wouldn't help there. We've already done that. I mean, we could stick a funnel into his ass and then sort of feed it through there. Let's hold him up. I'd with the rather gun. not. Okay, that did not work. So we're at the point now where we're just trying uh, a little bit of everything. Let's drive him nuts. That's with a these stupid teeth. thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. Do we need to like... There, it's off. But it's too late now. Do we need to like mess around with this thing now? Is the sludge o itself here. Warning! Output from this device is highly toxic and may cause tyrannical delusions if ingested. Oh, yeah, that's what happened to, uh, to Purple. There's the hamster generator here, but we don't have a hamster. Well, I think we, it's there... designed to run with something. More like a small rodent. He's upstairs, but we can't actually get into What's-His-Face's room now. And I don't think that there's a hamster back in Hoagie's time. Like, I think the hamster is only in this time. Uh, we can't read the textbook to him. Can we use the can opener on anything? No. There's nothing that really is sort of sticking out. We haven't used the boo-boo be gone on anything yet. I wonder if we use the boo-boo be gone The on legal contract. language is pretty thick. I doubt if I could fix it. Okay, so we can't do that. Can we use the stamp album I'd with the contract? Not. No. Um, can we use the boo boo be gone with? Um, God, I don't even know. We have to some. Okay, so there's a couple of things we need to do. We need to get our hands on this log, also this quill pen, and maybe something to do with the constitution. I think we've exhausted all of our dialogue options here, and there's nothing else that we can really... Can we actually use this with, like, the fireplace? I don't wanna. I wonder if we can, like, warm up John Hancock with something else. Like, for instance, this textbook. Alright, Hoagie, you're getting the textbook now. You know what else you're getting, Hoagie? That's right, bitch. You're gonna get the... Novelty flag gun? I don't know if that's going to work. I mean, maybe we can get him to sign it now. Because you can't actually flush it. So that leads me to believe that maybe somebody here can... Okay, let's use the textbook with the fireplace. I'd rather not. All right, let's try to use the contract with George Washington. Or with the quill pen again. Let's just get Hoagie to sign it, shall we? Hey, oh, keep we your hands off that. All right, uh, George Washington, me. I'm back. Give me that cigar. Yes. I want that cigar so bad. Cold enough for you? Cold enough for you? Cold? Why, well, you don't know the meaning of the word. I spent <laughs> a winter at Valley Forge. Now that was cold. Why, my spit would freeze before it hit the ground. Holy shit. Cool. Extremely. Yeah. Um, Excuse me. George, I have yes. more that I need to talk to you about. Uh, do you really have wooden teeth? I think it's freezing in here, don't you? I think it's freezing in here, don't you? Freezing? Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> How can we make him cold? Let's dump water all want. over him. No, okay. That's a probably... It's probably Whoa, just as well. it's filling up fast. Is there anything... Is there any way that we can, like, open the window? Cold view look of at the, the outhouses. I wonder if we have to get into those outhouses. Fuck, I am totally... I cannot remember. Thomas Jefferson, what about Yo, you, bitch? Tom. Thomas. Thomas. How goes the framing of the Constitution? How can you let Hancock suffer like that? How's the time later, capsule going? Bra. What? What's going to happen later? Is there anything else that we need to send in the time capsule to Laverne so that it ages? I don't think so. John Hancock? Yo. Hello. Uh, shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting shouldn't here? Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? 
Look, this is hard work. We can't just write this thing off the tops of our heads. We have to think about important issues. Like what? What are you thinking about? You look like you're thinking about a wool sweater. Dude, the latest issue of Bikes and Brews is red. What important issue are you Which thinking about now? Which important issue are you thinking about? Something of vital importance. Hey, Tom? Thomas! Can we put an amendment where, where the government provides everyone with wool sweaters? Oh, please. Can't you stop whining and think about something else? Why, if you'd been at Valley Forge with Washington, you'd... All right already. You we have to warm this guy up. With? Well, there's I gotta go, dude. There's a sweater underneath the big guy on the bed. Can we open this? It's padlocked. It's padlocked. Damn it. There's nothing over there. What the hell do we do with What's this? What's up? Know where I can get some gold? Know where I can get some gold? Nice. You can actually ask him. <laughs> maybe a gold watch? Maybe a gold watch? <laughs> hey, maybe. Great hat, man. Later, dude. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> so annoying. Okay, so we know we can go down. We have the contract, but I don't think we need it. I mean, maybe we can try getting Red to sign it, but it might not work. Please, can you sign this, Edison? I don't wanna. Come on. Can we actually use the bulletin board with something? Oh, can... that's odd. Can we actually... Can I we don't use... wanna. Okay, no, we can't do that. All right, you know what? We have to switch to Laverne. We have a trophy, and that's it. So, we have to somehow warm up John Hancock. I can't remember. There is a sweater, but we need to get the crowbar. How the shit are we going to get a crowbar? And Bernard has all of the inventory right now. Bernard, you're going to have to distribute, my friends. We have to think of a way. We've used the invisible ink now. Uh, the disappearing ink. There's the hamster upstairs that we have to do something with. Might be something to do with the... Squeaky bed. Oh, yeah, there's that squeaky bed puzzle, too, right? All right, let's go upstairs and Let us What's the ice machine we can actually use the ice machine for something, but I'm I can't remember what there's the novelty guys It's got the leftovers in the phone here. There's a picture of dogs playing poker as well Is there anything behind the door? I don't think so. There's the TV set in the door okay let's leave here and then in this room there is green tentacle with the mouse hole we've been in here i think we've gotten everything from here and this guy just keeps kicking us out unless Get we somehow give here. him something we have just enough time to like do something here like this i'd rather not come on here have it back hey you fixed oh. it I guess I can forgive you now. Oh, great! Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. Well, oh, great! We all feel that way sometimes. All right, can I pick up this hamster now? I really need him. Oh! Oh, shit, his thing was open! What, did he get really mad and the thing just, like, burst open? Nice! We have a hamster! Alright, let's go put him on the generator down there and see what happens. I think you can put the hamster into the ice box too, and I, you can send him to Laverne, I think. Can we actually do this? I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. Look at him go! Boop, 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 boop. Oh my god! He really slam dunked him in there too. All right, so now he's in there. So now if we go to Laverne. Peace out, guys. I don't know what we're going to do with this hamster, but we can actually do something with it. We're going to go upstairs to the ice box, and we're going to get the frozen hamster that maybe we can use with... Is he in here? Hmm, looks like there's some kind of rodent down there. Okay, let's pick up the frozen hamster. Ugh. Okay, 
We now have a frozen. Oh shit! You know what? We have a frozen hamster who has survived all this time, and we have a microwave over here somewhere, right? I think. Was it in the in here? Is this the kitchen? Oh yeah, this must be right. I got the problematic gizmo for you, sir. Oh yeah, and these guys are doing you the shrink ray thing. Frag generator. Yes, that one. But I'm having trouble locating the pneumo whatsis. Oh, uh, not the, the pneumo, pneumo whatsis. The pneumo deamplifier. You of might course. try that old abandoned lab in the basement. It's hardly been touched in 200 years. Oh. Yes, I need sir. to get down there. The diminuator will be my crowning success. With it, I'll be able to shrink the entire human race out of sight. <laughs> oh, maybe I need to send the hamster down into the lab. After I dethaw him in the microwave. You should never put an animal in a microwave, it's gotta be said. But if he is encased in a block of ice, maybe it's okay. Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Laverne! Uh-oh. Get him out of there! Oh. There. That was <laughs> fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put <laughs> hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken oh, here we away go. from their parents and put up for adoption. Uh-oh. <laughs> so don't do it. Yeah, let that serve as a lesson to all you kids out there who are considering putting your pet hamster in a microwave right now. Disgusting. Don't do that. All right. We're going to try to put the hamster into the little window. There's this fence here, too. I don't remember what to do. What a shabby paint job. <gasps> Guess who has some paint, motherfucker? It's, uh, of course, Bernard. Okay, let's send the paint to Laverne and see if she can paint this fence red. I think it's nicer white. Really? Because I have just the thing for that, too! Alright, Laverne, we're gonna try the boo boo be go- It's gonna make that cat look like a skunk. Here we go. This ought to be good. Yes. A skunk! Go into the jail! Did the skunk go into the jail? Oh, he's trying to lick the paint off now. Never, come on, never lick. Okay, now we should be able to use the hamster with the nah. cat, right? Now we should be able to use the hamster with the former motel, right? We're gonna nah. let him loose. Okay, so the hamster is cold and wet, it seems, but we're gonna shove him in the window anyway and let him get nah. on with things. What? Why? I can see Dr. Fred's old lab, and his generator is still there. Gee, I could really use that power, but I'll never get through this window. Damn it. We really need that power. Okay, I think that this skunk is something to do with... Can we actually, like, look at the cat, or... Can we pick up the cat now that I he's up there? get to it up there. We need, like, a... Oh... You know what? We need to get this guy... We have to convince him to go out there and catch the skunk cat. Dear guard. Has anybody ever escaped from this place? Nice clock. Hi, I'm Laverne. Um, has anyone ever escaped has from this place? Has anyone ever escaped from this place? Some try once in a while, but I always fetch them back. That's my primary duty here, and I take it very seriously. I need I that always get my net. Man, no matter how long it takes. Why I once trailed a renegade human for six days. He let wow. Me clear through the hills and up to the top of those mountains to the west. You couldn't possibly imagine the horrible things I had to eat to survive. Jesus. Um, putrefied squirrel intestines. Putrefied squirrel intestines. Good heavens. <laughs> Uh, okay. You're quite a tracker, aren't You're you? You're quite a tracker, aren't you? Rather. 
I always get my man, no matter how long it takes. Uh, okay. Be seeing you. See you later then. Yes, perhaps I can regale you with further tales of my tracking expertise. That would be wonderful. Okay, so now there's a skunk outside on the roof. Maybe we can just convince these guys to go out and see the skunk. Hey, Zed, there's a skunk outside on the roof. What do you think uh, of that? Zed? I'm tired of talking now. Okay. It's been a long day, and I'm only human. How the hell can we do something with that skunk on the roof? Did somebody say something about being scared of skunks before? I'm sure that that's the case. Let's send this back to Bernard. So the Boo Boo Be Gone has now been used. And we're nowhere further with Hurley, but there is a skunk. And that's pretty good. Hurley, I think we have to send this back to... You know what? Bernard, what the hell are you doing right now? Nothing, as usual. Um, how can we get the skunk down from the roof? What could we possibly do? I think these chattering teeth have to be given to the horse, by the way. Let's try that again. Let's put the chattering teeth into his glass and see if that does anything. Oh, yeah, there's that squeaking ass bi Oh, no, we're like far in the past right now, aren't we? Okay, so let's put these into the glass. Well, that's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. Let's put them in the horse. Well, that's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. Let's talk to the horse. We woke him up. No, no, he's out cold. What's in here again? Oh, yeah, these two doofuses. Do we need to do anything in here with these guys? I don't think we do. I thought that because um, we did the thing with the cat with Laverne. So we can use the squeaky mattress. How do we... Um, Where am I going to put it? Just use it. Where am I going to put it? What can we use with the squeaky mattress? With the cat. I don't think I can do that. I want that squeaky mouse toy so bad. How can I have it? Cats dig these. They really do. Can we just pick up the cat? Yo, Didn't I... like that. How did I make it go squeaky again? I'm trying to use it, but... I sat on it and it made it squeak. Is there something else that we can maybe use with it? Like the hammer? There you go, Hoagie. Use this fucking hammer on the bed. I don't wanna. Use it on the actual bed then. I don't wanna. Oh, you have to use Ned's bed. Squeak, 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 squeak. And then we go pick this up quick. He's too fast. Yo, I... So we have to have something that can just... Can we actually use the teeth with the bed? Well, that's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering it's teeth. It's not at all. What are you talking well, that's about? That's a stupid thing to do with a perfectly good set of chattering teeth. Hoagie, please. Come on. What does she have? Oh, yeah, the hamster. We can't do anything with... I think we have to... Something to do with this sweater. We have to... We have to get this sweater from this guy. We might be able to just push him now. Can we pick up the sweater? He's like really underneath I can it. almost get it now, but Lardo is lying on the sleeve. Okay, let's push him. I can't move him an inch. He's too big. We need that other coin. And we need the fucking thing for it though. Whatchamacallit? The crowbar. Fuck, I cannot remember what, what to do with this in terms of this crowbar. I don't want to go in there. I don't really want to go in there. There's the IRS guys upstairs. There's Nurse Edna's room, which we're done with. Um, there's stamp collector guy, and we got the hamster. So we need the hamster in Laverne's time to power up her chronojohn so she can come back. And Hoagie's, we need to power it up with the battery, and we're still missing the gold. We don't have like a substitute pen, do we? Fuck. Maybe I maybe I just need to finally 
finally come in here and talk to this guy, even though I really don't want to. All right, cigar salesman. Hi there. What's up? What can I do for you, kid? I need that lighter. Uh, nice cigars. Nice cigars. I roll them myself. So I've already done this. Cigar? I would love one. Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this okay, time. Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? Oh, no, no. Fuck, I know what to do. Okay. I told you it was a bad habit. We have to blow up George Washington. All right, so we have to replace the lighter gun with the flag gun while he's not looking. What's that strange hovering saucer-shaped object? Huh? Oh, yes. I don't see anything. Now we have Never a lighter mind. gun. And we have to do the cigar thing again. Hi there. Oh what man, this whole time! I was sure that we'd exhausted everything here! Nice cigars! Nice? These babies are practically exploding with tobacco goodness! So, nice. want another cigar? You bet your butt I do! Okay, but okay, only if you but promise not to light it! Not to light it this time! Would I do a thing like that? Oh, here it comes. Bong! Oh, man. I don't get it! <laughs> Woo! Nice! Alright, we now have an exploding cigar! Get lost, kid! Come on. That's not very nice. Alright, Hoagie, incoming! Down the Chronojohn, we also have a cigar lighter. Do we need to light anything on fire? Not that I can think of, but you know what? Hoagie might actually need the cigar lighter as well. Just in case, you know, just to get George Washington. George Washington is the only guy I can think of who's smoking a cigar, right? So it's got to be something to do with him. Maybe we give it to like Thomas um, Jefferson instead and he can light it up and we can blow his ass up. Or maybe the mummy? Hey, you want this? I got some gnarly Egyptian curse? No way. <laughs> All right. Who wants a cigar, John Hancock? You have it. I want to save it for maximum comedy. All right. Maximum comedy potential it is then. George Washington. Excuse me. Yes. Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can Here we you go. also provide me with a light? Sure. You bet your butt I can, Georgie. Well, in that case. Here he comes. Man, we are gonna blast his wig right off. Here it comes. This has to be the only game that you can do. No. No. The chattering teeth. He's got dentures. Blast, I hate it when that happens. See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. <laughs> no problem, George Washington. I got him right here. Did you use these? <laughs> oh, look. Now everybody's going to think that George Washington's cold. Oh, yes. Why, thank you, young man. <laughs> Strange. I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Oh, maybe you should, George. Hey, Tom, look. The father of our nation is cold. Better That's build right. a fire. You're right. Oh, nice. Uh, I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. Guys, guys, I'm guys. I'm by the smoke. You build the fire. I'll build the fire. Don't worry I'm about it. I'm by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, Long Lover. No, <laughs> Long you lover. build the fire. No, you build the fire. There we go. Two hours later, finally, we have fire. You big baby. Which means now that we can not only pick up... Where did his teeth go? We can pick up this blanket now. He doesn't need it anymore. 
Okay, what do we need to do with this huge blanket? I can't remember. Maybe we can warm up the hamster with it, possibly. Um, but I'm not sure if we need to do that. We definitely need this gold, though. Hey, keep your hands off that. Okay. So now that we've done that, what do we do with this blanket? Should we give it to Laverne? I don't think can... I can put that in the chrono, John. All right, so we have to use the blanket here. And where did George Washington's freaking teeth go? Like, because we could have put those into the thing, right? The, um... I wonder if we can use this on the mummy. I've got better things to do. <laughs> what do we use this for? I can't even remember. We don't... Is it something to do with, like... Oh, maybe we can send this blanket in the time capsule. I've got better things. Because that's another way of getting things to Laverne, but it didn't seem to work. Um. Okay, so George Washington might have Excuse some more dialogue me. options now. Yes. Are you cold? Now what are you looking now at? Now what there? are you looking at out there? There are two sides to everything. You know that, my boy? Uh, sure. Wow, what issues are you contemplating? Wow, what issue are you contemplating? What do you think? Is my left side better or my right? <laughs> Weren't you president Weren't or you something? Weren't you president or something? Yes, I expect to be chosen president unanimously. I'm very well connected. Nice. Do you think I should be the ecology president or the education president? Um, I'm a big fan of education. I think ecology is very important. Depends on how many cherry trees you've chopped down. Let's go for ecology. I think ecology is very important. Yes, of course, but what really matters is which one sounds better. Nice. Gee, I gotta go now. <laughs> Hoagie's out. All right, well, we have made some progress. Oh, I know what we gotta do with the blanket. Hang on a sec. We gotta use it. We gotta make the smoke. I've we gotta got get them out of here. Oh, no, we can't do that. I think we got to get the blanket wet or something, possibly. Let's wet I don't the blanket. Wanna. Okay, we're close, but not quite there yet. Anyway, um, we'll be back next time for more of Day of the Tentacle Remastered, um, where we will continue to solve the puzzles and stuff, and it'll be great. Excellent. As usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time!